Hey, what's up guys? It's the T-Dubs Kid, and I'm out here riding in the forest at night. Obviously, uh, the moon's out. It's like a perfect temperature for riding. It's absolutely amazing. But anyways, I'm riding at night because I recently just uh, got a Cyclops LED headlight bulb. Uh, it has an H4 base, uh, so it'll fit on the TW200. Uh, it's supposedly supposed to put out 3,800 lumens, and it has a high and a low beam, and it actually uh, draws less, less wattage than the stock bulb. And I actually have the stock halogen bulb in right now because I want it to do uh, before and after. So let's go ahead and head back to the garage and I'll show you how to put in the Cyclops. All right, so we're back here at the garage. Uh, I got the bike and the H4 LED uh, headlight bulb kit. It should be pretty simple to install. It's just pretty much plug and play. It just uses the same uh, plug connection as the regular bulb. The only difference is, is that it's got a fan um, on the back of it and then some wiring and then a module and the only other things you might need is just some zip ties um, that'll be just to kind of help keep this stuff all out of the way so it's not getting in the way because it's right next to like the steering area so and you might just need a few a couple tools also just to let you know this bulb is not DOT approved so that means it's technically not street legal I'm um, not really sure why that is um, but if you do use it on the street, you're doing so at your own risk. So if you move the steering uh, one way to either side, um, you can kind of see uh, where the bulb goes. Um, the connector is right here, and then there's kind of a rubber boot uh, that goes around the back of the bulb. Now I'm just going to take the front plastic off. Um, it's just a big Phillips screwdriver. Make sure it's a big screwdriver too. So if it's too small, you'll just end up rounding out this Phillips screw. This just pulls out and there's two little tabs on top. Those just push down and it comes right off. Next, I'm just gonna loosen up this entire front frame kind of assembly and it's just three 10 millimeter bolts. There's one right down here. And then there's just uh, two more bolts right up here. There's one, it's kind of long. And there's uh, one on this side. It's kind of hidden by all the wires, but you should be able to sneak it. And there's the other bolt. And it should all kind of just fall down. Um, it won't fall off the bike because it's all held on by all the cables and wires. All right, now you can see the back of the headlight really well. Um, pretty much just unplug it. There's no catch or anything. It just unplugs like that. Then you just kind of remove this rubber boot, just comes straight off. And to remove the bulb, there's just this little uh, metal ring around the actual bulb, and you just rotate that counterclockwise. Um, there's a little thing that says lock with an arrow, and you just remove it the opposite way of that arrow. And then the halogen bulb comes right out. Go ahead and grab the LED bulb. Um, and it's not a bad idea to go ahead and test it out before you put it all together um, so just plug it in and turn it on try not to stare directly at the bulb it's very bright Jesus it's so bright and you'll hear the fan turn on too make sure that works oh I can't even look at it and then try the high beam and the low beam it looks uh, looks like it works one thing you're gonna notice if you uh, try to put this together is that this rubber boot is not gonna fit um, even if you disconnect it from the module because um, it's got to fit around the fan you would have to stretch it a whole lot it's not going to really fit around the front but if you notice that on the front there's two little screws um, that hold this uh, metal adapter on there and if you just take a really small Phillips um, you just take those screws out And this uh, little metal adapter can only go on one way, so don't worry about mixing it up. I mean, unless you put it upside down. I'm unable to get this uh, rubber boot over these little plastic tabs. Um, you gotta be careful so you don't break them. But I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is 
just take a razor blade and put a small slit um, in here in the boot so I can uh, slip it around those little tabs and definitely don't make too big of a slit but just enough to get those little tabs through try not to cut yourself remember the bulb will go in this way uh, with this little rubber piece sticking out try not to put too much force on anything because probably wouldn't be too hard to break there we go and I'm just gonna flip this inside out now I'm just gonna reinstall this little adapter Make these little screws nice and snug, but don't tighten them too much because it's just a little piece of plastic they're holding on to. Alright, and then take this little ring, kind of just put it over, then put the bulb in. Um, it'll only go in one way. It's probably going to be hard to show this on camera. You'll have to like wiggle it around and uh, just look around, make sure everything's lined up. And then you just twist it and it should lock in place. Then just make sure the rubber boot's in the right position. Um, there's a little, there's some writing on here that says top. Um, and then fold it down over the light, just like that. Make sure this foam piece goes over it. And then plug it into the module if it's not plugged in already. So I'm just gonna plug it in. And then I'm gonna zip tie the module um, to this little, little light frame. Just snip off the excess. Now I'm just going to put the uh, the light frame um, back together. Well, when you're putting this back together, just make sure everything uh, lines up and you're not going to pinch any of the cables and or wires. The instrument cluster kind of goes first and then, then the headlight frame. I'll take the smaller bolt on the bottom and just kind of thread it in. Just put these bolts in by hand. Um, don't like force them in or else you might cross thread them and that's gonna be a really big problem. I'm just keep that loose for now and then take the longer bolts, stick them in. Kind of a pain because it has to be lined up just perfectly. It has to go through the instrument panel and then to the frame. Um, whatever you do just try to thread them in by hand. Um, you might have to wiggle it around and move them around but you don't want to force them in with a, uh, a ratchet just yet or else you'll cross thread it and then then you'll have to either you'll have to tap it out or get a new piece so I got this one threaded in by hand and this one's kind of a pain if you want you can use the socket just I would just recommend using the socket alone so you don't cross thread it then kind of just turn it Yep, this one's threaded in. Before you tighten anything down, just make sure nothing's gonna get pinched. None of these cables or wires, um, cause that would be a bad day. That'll look good. Also make sure the module and the new wires aren't getting in the way of anything before you just tighten everything down. That looks good. All right, once those all those bolts are threaded in by hand, nothing's gonna be pinched. Um, just tighten them down. Also tighten the top ones um, before you tighten the bottom one. They don't need to be super tight, just tight enough. And then uh, tighten the bottom one. There we go. So before you put the plastic cover back on, um, you might wanna just look in here uh, and just zip tie like everything up. Um, I got the module zip tied and I'll probably just zip tie the uh, the connector real quick um, to the turn signal light wire. The last thing you want to do before you put the cover back on, move the steering um, lock to lock. Just kind of watch everything. Make sure nothing's snagging. Make sure all the wires are routed correctly. Because um, you don't want to cause like yourself an accident or anything. Um, it all looks really good. Everything's routed properly. And now I'm just gonna put the cover back on. All right, to put the cover on, uh, just put it on these little rubber rubber grommets first. You just kind of clip in, and then it pushes down right there, and then the bolt goes in. The LED bulb is 
installed, it's time to go test it out.